Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Roadhouse, and I'd like to introduce you to my patient, Cheryl Rogers. Um, Cheryl had thyroid symptoms, and she's had them for a long time. So, Cheryl, why don't you tell us about, um, you know, how it was for you, you know, and when all this started, and what your symptoms were, and, you know, how you're doing. Okay, I'll be glad to. Uh, I'm 66 years old now, and I was started on thyroid medication for hypothyroidism when I was eight or nine years old because I've always, my body type is, makes me look a little chunky, and my family thought that the doctor might be able to help me with that. So I went to the doctor. In those days, they did some primitive type of breathing, basal metabolism tests or so far, so something like that. So at any rate, I was started on thyroid extract when I was eight or nine years old. All of my life, I've had a weight problem, uh, very difficult to lose weight. In fact, I just continued to gain weight all my life. And finally, about five years ago, I was at the point, I was very unhealthy, my body ached all the time, no matter what I did. And so I opted to inquire about having gastric bypass procedure. I did. I lost a substantial amount of weight, around 140 pounds. And that made a difference in my life. But I still had body pain. And after recovery period of a year or two from that surgery, I began putting weight on again, which was shocking to me because I really could and can eat a very small amount of food and I try to get nutrient-dense food. So with the pain and the continued weight gain, I started inquiring my primary care provider, whom I think very highly of, and I was sent to several GI doctors and other specialists. Nobody ever, ever, ever mentioned diet as part of the solution to this problem. Well, you were, you were on a, a, a diet, though, after the bypass and stuff because you had, they had counseled you on what foods to kind of stay away from. Yes. And because of the, the gastric bypass, I mean, the, your ability, you know, to eat quantities of food right. has really, really been diminished. So it worked for a while, and then, and then, and then you started gaining weight again. Exactly. Now, uh, as, you, as you gained weight, um, how did you feel overall? I mean, what was just... Well, you know, I had a lot of weight reduction, so that made some improvement, but my body still ached, okay. and I couldn't understand why. Would, would, would the, was it the whole body, or was it sometime it was your neck and your arm, and then it went into your leg, or was it just head to toe? It basically, it would be exacerbated sometimes okay. by certain activities, but by and large, I had it all the time. Lack of energy, mm -hmm. in spite of taking the thyroid medication, and the weight gain, which I could not understand, because at most, I can eat a cup of food at yeah. one time. Yeah. And I do try to keep it nutrient dense. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what happens with uh, patients that have a thyroid problem. I mean you're not taking in that much food. Some patients will restrict their calories down to 500 calories. They're working out four hours a day and they still can't lose weight because it's right. not, you know, that's not the problem. It's the thyroid that's not working right. Right, so I came to you and we started doing the oxygen therapy and the other things and eventually after four or five months, we did the metabolic testing Mm -hmm. And then I got on to, a, it was found that I was in fact gluten sensitive, and is it casein? Casein, dairy, soy, soy yeast, yeast, and eggs. And egg, right. Plus gluten. Yeah. Now we did all these tests, so we didn't guess with her, we didn't do, I mean these are medical tests, we sent uh, Cheryl out to medical lab. Um, she's been to gastroenterologist, all these doctors for all these stomach type symptoms right. that no one, and, and you know, when we evaluated, we knew you had a neurological problem because your cerebellum was a culprit, and we, and we worked on that. Right. And then once we got, you know, the neurological part of it and you were feeling better, we still had all these thyroid and the intestinal issues. So that's when we did the metabolic testing. We did 
all the tests that if, if you watch the um, uh, the video that's on on the website it explains all the tests and we did these tests and no one had any idea you know what the outcome was uh, you know and then when we did the testing because we did a lot of testing we didn't know exactly what the culprit was but on the testing we found out that number one um, you have hypothyroid symptoms but they've been given her thyroid medicine for so long that on the test she was actually hyperthyroid even though she exhibited all the hypothyroid so you have a great doctor you know we visit with with your doctor and they cut back on on your thyroid medicine, that's right and, and so that brought us back in, into the range but then when we did the testing we found that not only did she have uh, the gluten sensitivity you have the gluten gene right the not the good gene right right okay so that means that she can never eat gluten again Right. And then everything that we tested her for, um, she was sensitive to. And that was, you know, exacerbating the thyroid type symptoms. And the thyroid problem, you're going to have, you know, problems losing weight. Um, you're going to have energy problems, sleeping problems, intestinal problems. And you've definitely, you've been to so many doctors that have that and no one figured it out for us. So once we did the testing, we got the results. Right. So now I'm on what they call the autoimmune protocol. And I will tell you that I've been on that now for about three, almost three months. And by the end of the first two months, I had lost 20 pounds. Yeah, really, I am awesome. not counting calories or anything, but I am avoiding the gluten. And actually that's turned out to be much easier than I thought because there's a, a greater awareness of gluten sensitivities these days. and. There are lots of products available, not only in the health food store, but in the regular grocery store. So I, I feel pretty good about that. I think I'll be able to adhere to that. But just let me say that with all the severe symptoms I was having, such as constant frequency of the bathroom, okay, because whatever I would eat was just really bothering my body, and nobody ever mentioned diet as a part of it. One gastroenterologist even made what I consider to be kind of a flip remark to my complaints. He suggested that I have the gastric bypass reversed, which is, if not impossible, almost yeah. insane. Yes, so, that was not... <laughs> that but was I mean, not well received by no, me. No, but what, ha what happens is the doctors get so frustrated with taking care of... I mean, how many times have you been to them? and? all the different doctors, all the money, all the things that you've done, the time that you've invested in trying to solve this problem, and they don't understand it. And that's why, I mean, right. who in the right line would say, let's re reverse, <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, it's almost absurd and it's, it's, you know, rude to you. But, you know, but at that time, luckily, you weren't desperate enough that you didn't. Right. You know? Yeah, right. So anyway, okay, so let, it, let us kind of know uh, where you're at now, like as far as sleeping, energy, the body aches, you know what I mean? You, you know, because you really had to restrict all the things that you did right. just because you felt lousy all I the time. I mean, you know, I mean, I can see a big change, and I'm sure your, your friends have, but just kind of let, let the folks know, you know, what your life is like now. Well, it was that I couldn't work in the garden even because my body would ache even though I didn't do really what I call strenuous work. My body hurt most of the time. Uh, I was very lethargic, very lethargic. No energy, didn't sleep well, would wake up. Now, I have very little body pain. It's resolving very well, and the top part of my body doesn't hurt at all anymore, and it used to. So if I do find myself with any pain, is typically in the lower part of my body. And the weight loss is phenomenal. Who could imagine 20 pounds in two months without even really making an effort? So that's yeah. what I have to say about that. I yeah. feel much better, and you are the only one who has ever addressed this issue like it should be addressed and has given me the results that I longed for. Well, thanks. Well, and the other thing is, you know I mean, it's taken us a long time. I mean, this is an overnight thing, but how long, well, I mean, we don't have to talk about that, but people can probably do the math, you know? Right. But I mean, this has been a long time that you've had a problem, so it's not gonna go away in 
you know, a lot of patients are unrealistic and they think, well, I've had this for 40 years, you know. I mean, you know, you were in the right. medical profession and right. and it's like, you know, they want it done right now. So, I mean, we're working the neurological, we're getting that part, we're getting the, the cerebellum working right. And so these muscles down and through the heart doing, we're not done treating her. I mean, as far as her intestinal stuff and your energy, all that's doing good. The upper part, you know, now we're concentrating on, on finishing the rest and I'm sure we're going to resolve it just like we... Mm -hmm we did uh, you know with the upper part but I mean some of the things that, that you can do now um, you know were just unthinkable right. uh, before I don't have to think about it mm -hmm. and I will say that it has been a long time coming and I am a licensed practical nurse and I work in that field for a long time I work with a lot of different kinds of patients and uh, I just feel so good about what's happened I will say that my insurance did not pay for the tests that were required, but even though the cost was substantial to me, it's certainly worth it. Absolutely, no question about it. Well, I mean, if you look at, you know, when patients come in and, and you know, we figure out number one, where, and remember, I told you, I'll be able to evaluate you and I'll let you know if you're a candidate, then we need to talk about because you might need to make some lifestyle changes because without those, I can't accept you. You remember talking right, about that? Right, I do. And then, you know, when we when we laid the plan out for you, I mean, it was expensive, um, but at the same time, look at all the money that you spent. Up to and, now. Yeah, and didn't get any results. So, right. I mean, you have to look at it, you know, uh, that way, that, I mean, it was definitely worth it for you because it changed your life. Absolutely. Okay, good. Well, thanks, Cheryl. It's been an honor to take care of you, and I hope... Uh, this helps change someone's life because it certainly changed yours. I hope so too, thank you.